Hi, this is Jerry with Subaru XV Cross Trek Central. Today's project will be installing a new horn set for the Subaru. This is the Hella Sharp Tone set. So Hella makes two different kinds of sets. They make a Super Tone and a Sharp Tone set. And the Sharp Tone is a newer release for the U.S. These are made in India and shipped. They're available on eBay and I believe they're available on Amazon, some other sources. I paid about $33 for my set shipped from India. The difference between the Sharp Tone, this set, and the Super Tone is the Sharp Tone set is a little bit lower frequency than the Super Tone set. So that's why I chose it. And uh, the color's different. Well, the yellow on these would be red on the Sharp Tone set or the Super Tone set. And um, the inside part would be black where these are yellow and blue. So let's go out and we'll start taking the grill off and see how this install goes. So the first thing we're going to be doing is pulling off this uh, cowling on the top of the grill. And to do that there are 10 push pins that we need to take out. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're just going to take those out with a screwdriver. There we go, all 10 removed. The next thing we'll do is we'll just pull this piece out, this little shroud, and it pulls right out. So next I'm gonna be taking the bumper off, or the front bumper fascia, um, not the actual bumper, just the plastic bumper fascia, um, just to be able to get at the horn area, and I'm gonna be replacing that grill, and it's just a little bit easier. So you can take the grill off, just the grill, and you can get to the stuff, but it's pretty easy to take off the whole front bumper area and uh, that, that opens up the front end to be able to wire things a lot easier and it's just a little easier to mount the, the grill on with the bumper off. So let's see how we do that. So the first thing is there's a little push pin on each side. You push in and then that just comes right out. So there's one of those on each side, and then underneath, there's a series of five, uh, ten of these um, connectors, these pop-out connectors that just come out real easy. So there's one, there's a couple on each side here. And then you can see I have the plastic engine protector off my car already in preparation for a skid plate install so there's a couple of the pins these pins I've already taken out so there's a total of 10 on the bottom that you need to take out but there's two that I've already taken out so those aren't going to be there but I'll go ahead and take the remaining ones out The last little push pin on this side and that popped right out that's all the pins next we'll just pull the cover off so just a couple more things to do before removing the bumper I'm gonna put a couple screwdrivers in these top holes kind of hold this bumper on after I remove the sides of it so it doesn't just fall on the ground um, that's where some of the plastic plugs are the next thing I'm gonna do is reach underneath and unplug the fog lights. Now that I've loosened these panels, I can have access to that. And the fog lights just unplug very easily. So now it's just a matter of pulling the sides off from the quarter panel, the bumper, away. There's the other side. Now I should be able to just lift the bumper off. There we go. That's 
that's it. So as you can see, I've already blacked out um, the air conditioning condenser coil and the grill area um, in preparation for a different grill that you can see into this area uh, better with, you know, the, a mesh grill. But anyway, there are two horns on the Crosstrek. There is uh, this one right behind the grill, and there's this one that sits in over on the side underneath the uh, bumper fascia, the high and low tone uh, horns. So I'll be removing these two next. Um, so I'm going to be using this stock wire to power uh, one of the horns. I'm going to run an extension from this side. And then the same thing in the front for the other one. I'll be using this uh, power lead right here to power the other horn that I'll mount over on this side. So I painted the grill surround on these horns black instead of yellow. I didn't want the yellow showing through the grill. And <clears throat> I've made a couple of ground wires, small ground wires, and an extension for the passenger side horn wire. So let's get these things mounted up. Drilled a little hole in the sheet metal for the ground wire on each side. Then the horns will mount to these bolts which hold on the uh, air conditioning coil here. This is where I've chosen to mount them. Connect the ground wires. Here is the power wire that went to the OEM horn on this side. That will just Plug into the other side of the horn. And then I have my little extension that I made. I'll plug that into the positive connector on this side. It went to the OEM horn. Feed it through. And plug it into the other connector on this horn. And that's it. Let's see how these things sound. Let's see what the stock horn sounds like before we uh, do the install of the Hellas. So I put a couple of zip ties on the wires. A little bit of electrical tape on the one connection on the passenger side. And it's time to put the front bumper back on. So I'll put it in place here. And kind of hold it up with a couple of screwdrivers. And those holes in the top. And snap it into place. Push the pins on the bottom. Oh, can't forget to plug the fog lights in. That one. And that one. one more pins. And the two upper pins. Ready to install the trim along the top. 